Uh, that was pretty sad. Um, I was at the gate and there was two boys standing there, one with a little skateboard, I would say he was around seven, and another guy with, around nine with a scooter. And they were literally just hanging on to the gate and they just looked scared, like they were gonna cry. So I went over and asked them if they were okay. And I explained to them what happened. And they said they lived on Queen Street here and they didn't know how to get back. And I offered to help them come over my fence, which probably wasn't a good idea, but they were so scared, but they said they would walk. We came up with a plan for them to walk down that way. And there's another little, I guess there's an opening down there where they can slip through. Um, but that's not at all the advice I wanted to give them. I, I would have felt more comfortable had they been able to walk home. I use this uh, gate every single day going to UPI. Uh, it takes me like three minutes from here, like from my house to, to UPI. Now it's going to take more than 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So it's really, it's really inconvenient. Uh, I don't think it's a smart move. Uh, people may get hurt when they climb this fence and try to reach the other side. But winter time, winter time is going to be like really, really bad. This gate stays like that. I don't want to have to find another way. That's why I live right there because of the path. It's so easy for me to get to work and to basketball practice every day. So I mean, it's really a perfect spot for me if that gate's open. But if it's not, it's everything's changed.